hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about the rest api which is crud part 2 and now guys we are going to start with the how to fetch the data using rest api with the get method so guys let's get started so as you saw in previous video we have dealt in now here with the help of authorization and your api key we have sent and fetched the restful api data so guys if you don't understand what is this and all please watch out the first part of this crud one restful api link given in the description and now let's get started with how to get the data with the database okay so guys uh, as you can see i'll just show you one table so this is our coding nitro table and i have created one employee table so inside this employee table i have first name last name phone number email so i want to get this data from from here in your postman using this uh, api restful api so with that let's get started with it so as simple first step we will create one controller to manage all the details of employees so let's create one inside this controller we have an api folder inside this api i am going to create the folder so as you can see that uh, same thing we will copy and paste inside this so this we have done in last video about it so let's just copy this same folder and rename it so let me rename to api api employee controller and let's copy the name control c hit enter to save so this is employee and rename this controller as api employee controller with the get method we are going to use it so guys now let's set a route for it so let me just close this file and now we have to call this function by using some uh, things okay so guys now let's get with that um first we have to go to our config folder inside this route you are going to set so let's create a route for it so dollar route where inside this route api forward slash employee i am going to create and here i am going to call the controller so inside my controller folder i have a api folder as you can see inside the controller folder api folder inside that api M I api employee controller at index function so what is that name we will copy that let's copy this and paste here and forward slash where i'm going to call the index function so index function we should not call full okay so in api it gets only this and this is the get method to call the request of your api so let's copy this only index and paste into your route so this is the main concept behind this restful api otherwise if you don't if you include that underscore get also it will not catch okay so the the method it won't get from the api so guys now let's test this so let's get back and let's call this route called api forward slash employee copy this and inside this i am going to call that echo i am employee index function okay so let's save this and let's get back to our postman and let's paste the url and let's send it so make sure you are giving this your key validation and your authorization so you can see the response i am from the index function so guys now let's get started with the db part database and now guys one thing so let's create it so let's just comment this so we don't require right now and let's start with that so first you are going to create the employee model so let me go to our model so where is our model okay it's here so let's create one model new file called employee model model.php file so let's copy this name and we have to create a class on it so open php and then create a class class employee model where extends ci underscore model 
so guys now we have to assign that uh, the things about it okay so what we have to do first we will include that this file should be secure so let's include that first line which should not be accessed from the outside and inside this you'll be doing a model things as per your employee table name okay so let's get started with it so first step we are going to create a function for this table where is it it's here let's create a public function public function where get underscore employee function inside this function you are going to call dollar query q u e r y query is equal to dollar this of database db dot i mean forward arrow get from here you are going to call the table name so that is nothing but your employee okay so employee table i have copied it and now let's paste it so once you're done with this let's return to your return dollar query of your result rclt result okay so this query is pasted over here and with this get function we are going to call the detail in your controller so let's call this controller so dollar this of load from this okay so how will you call this function so first first step we have to include your model this employee model you have to include it so guys now what we have to do let's create one construct method public function double underscore construct inside this you are going to call the model okay so you have to call it in this format dollar the employee load of your model function where in single quotes you are going to pass this employee model and before this if you want to use a model so this all should be working so we have to call the parent colon colon double underscore construct function so now this model will be called and then with the help of so now let's paste it so let me type dollar employee variable is equal to where new your employee model name where i'm going to call and with the help of this variable employee i'm going to get its object where i have created and that inside this method i'm going to call let's copy this method and paste and now after this we have to return so let's tell result result of emp we can just assume like that we can keep that type of variable and then dollar this of res p o n s c response where you are going to tell okay so first will be your variable and second will be status 200 done so let us copy this and now inside this you'll paste it so guys this result emp will go to response so this response is coming from your rest controller which we have included all the things functionality so guys now let us test this first so one more thing i just wanted to tell you which is about this db so make sure your database connection you have already done with that so that you'll get in your config autoload.php file where we'll be including it so i'll just show you one inside your libraries i have added the database so give the database and your database connection also so don't forget with this so this four step you have to include it so let's close this and test now let's get back and go to a postman and then let's fetch this so make sure you're using get so this get and your this get with match okay but you don't have the route inside this index okay so it's very clear so let's use it let me send and you will get the data so let's see so you are getting the data called uh, id1 that is with prakash phone number and email okay so this is how we are getting it so guys now uh, let me just check on and uh, one more thing we will be learning in this so guys now uh, let's go to a code and I'll just tell you one thing very clear concept. So this is a See here you are going to create index only and in your controller. You are not going to call this 
get okay so you are not going to call this get with this help of thing only you have to get if i just remove this get function and i will just send you the data now you see what the status is say it is okay so you can see that unknown method right so method it's not finding so that method can be find using this only okay so i'll just show you just put underscore get function okay so this is the way how you can fetch the methods in rest api so let us just one more time let me test and you can see the result of it cool so guys um in this video we have done with how to fetch or get the data using rest api with authentication and api key okay so thank you for watching this video let's see you next video about uh, inserting or posting the data through this api so guys thank you once again and please subscribe to the channel and like this video and share the video